The word for morning prayer for thy kingdom come on Friday the 29th of May. Power. At the end of Luke chapter 8, Jesus came back to Galilee and was met with an expectant crowd and a man called Jairus fell at his feet. The dignity of being a leader in the synagogue meant nothing to this desperate father as his 12 year old daughter was dying. Social standing doesn't mean much in a time like this. If you've ever had a very ill child, you might be able to relate to him a little. Imagine his frustration as Jesus turned around looking into the crowd for a random person who touched him and felt his power. The woman in question came trembling and fell down before him, then told everyone that she had been bleeding for 12 years. This bleeding made her ritually unable to participate in the Jewish community for the entire time of Jairus' daughter's life. With a young girl dying, it must have been very hard to intrude upon Jesus and hard to admit it before the whole crowd. People could be so judgmental and imagine Jairus looking frustrated as she told her story and others thinking she had no right to be there. But the woman felt Jesus' power and was immediately healed. He lovingly told her her faith made her well and she could go in peace. The Hebrew word shalom Jesus would have used means health, wholeness, completeness, as well as being a greeting and goodbye. But as the woman is sent with peace, a message of dread came to Jairus, his beloved daughter had died. Jesus, however, didn't dread, but wonderfully declared six words, don't fear, just believe, she'll be saved. When we come to Jesus, whatever trouble we face, don't fear, only believe there's hope, healing, salvation, shalom. Get around people of faith when you need prayer. Jesus kicked everyone out, just the parents, and three disciples came in. Some mocked, but those close believed, and Jesus spoke two words, Talitha Kami, little girl rise. It takes only a few words to speak faith. As she rose up, Jesus addressed her immediate need, feed her. When Jesus' power restores, don't forget to restore power and feed. So don't compare your need to others, but come to Jesus and reach out to him in faith. The prayer of faith will heal the sick. If Jesus can raise a girl from the dead, don't fear, don't worry about your dignity, but like Jairus, fall at Jesus' feet and his power will save. So the word for morning prayer for you today is power.